Hello, and my name is Pauline Jiao, and I want to take you through my Be The Spark story. After becoming a believer, I really lived for myself. I'll be honest. I was too busy. I had children, I had a business, I was running around. And I really felt that the business of leading people to Christ and making disciples was really the responsibility of the pastor. And I outsourced that responsibility. And occasionally I, I did the usual. I went to church on Sunday, I gave my tithes and offer. You know, I was a good Christian. Until I began to read the word of God and I began to understand that the biggest calling of a believer is to actually go out and teach people how to live like Jesus Christ. And I began to wonder whether that is what I was doing. And to be honest, I began to become very fidgety. I began to worry about it. And I began to have small panic moments when I wondered whether I was really living as a Christian or as a believer or a follower of Jesus Christ, really, truly. A moment or an opportunity presented itself when we were asked uh, to find four or five people who we would take through the Mizizi experience. And I mustered up all my courage and I, and I thought to myself, this is it. There would never be another moment because I was always going to be busy. There was always going to be something else to do. And so I signed up and I did take the, the, the four or five people through the Mizizi experience. And we did start an, a life group that is still alive to today. It was an amazing experience. Recently, I had my Eureka moment when I sat in a room with four people who had been through the Mizizi experience. But that is not what was amazing. What was amazing was I had led Anne through the, the Mizizi experience. She had then led Angela through the Mizizi experience. And Angela had then led James through the Mizizi experience. So there were four generations of people sitting in the room who had actually led others through the Mizizi experience and we were all seated in the room. And as I sat there, I remember thinking, thank God I had had the courage four years ago to actually sign up to become a Mizizi facilitator. That was the best thing I could have ever done. And that changed my life and the alignment of my life forever. So if you're seated at home and you're probably afraid or you've probably outsourced this great responsibility to your pastor or you're too busy, you really don't think you could make the time for to, to lead anyone through the Mizizi experience, I really want to encourage you. This is your opportunity. Look for four, five people. They could be your colleagues at work. They could be your family. They could be people you meet every day. Just muster up the courage, send them the poster, call them up and say, listen, let's do this thing together. I want to assure you that not only will it change the lives of everyone, but it will also change your life. You'll never be the same again. So I want to encourage you to go to the link below and you'll get more information. I want to assure you, your life will never be the same again. My name is Pauline Chao, and it's time for you to be the spark. Mm -hmm.